We went to Track Plus. We got to meet adults and children living with AIDS. And many children are orphans. It was my first experience seeing such a clinic with doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, consultants, advisors, all in one that treat these children and adults. And they teach them how to take their medication, they teach them how to eat. They're extremely progressive in terms of education. So the HIV statistics have gone down dramatically. From 11% of the population, they, it is now at 3% of the population. And they have become a model for Africa on how to deal with the HIV problem. We went to visit the government. After the genocide, 70% of the population was women. And Paul Kagame said, women need to reclaim the peace. They are the leaders in women as part of the public policy. 56% of the parliament is made up of women. It's very inspiring because all these women have a project or something to do different. All those ladies was in there and working for Rwanda, so that's great. We had the honor of meeting the president and spending time and being inspired by the first lady. President Paul Kagame is an incredible man. And his wife, Jeanette Kagame, the first lady, is an amazing, marvelous woman. She is so committed to giving women work who have suffered HIV, who have lived through the genocide, and she's doing this fantastic job. She represents the new Africa, the new women that are so powerful in Africa, and the first ladies of Africa. Today, everybody, we're going to see the gorillas. Three, Agasha. One, two, three, Agasha. So we're taking you to this mountain gorillas group, which is called Agasha. And Agasha, it's in our local language. And Agasha means special. Did you ever think you'd be here, Rima? Honestly, that's what I was thinking. That when I won that crown, I want a lot of things. I mean, right now I probably wouldn't be behind a desk waiting to get off and go to my next part-time job. But instead, I'm in a beautiful forest. Only three of these areas where you can find gorillas in the world, and I'm in one of them. And it's awesome. We walked for two hours to try to find the gorillas. Finally, we found the gorillas, and we get so excited, and we I saw two gorillas playing in the woods. Oh my god, it's so cute. The reason why we call this family the special, one female in this group, she maintained to lead this family for five months. And that's a very special situation that happens in the history of the mountain gorillas. It's the mom and the baby. I think her name is Karima. We have to go to. Yeah. Because we have to catch our flight. I don't want to go. Another way down. Is there an escalator? <laughs> we had one of the more treacherous trekkings. We had to go up and down a crater. Um, but we saw a silverback. We saw babies. Yay! We're here! I'm so happy we're at the cars. <laughs> we did it! They inspire us because their message is tomorrow and hope. And they have lived through so much. They represent hope and tomorrow. You can survive anything and you need to have that indomitable spirit to go on because life is about going on and getting through it no matter what the circumstances. Thank you so much for bringing Miss Universe and Miss USA to Rwanda. We need to take this opportunity in this country and what I've been through as an example for what we should follow. And I definitely am blessed to be here and I hope to come back.